Aotearoa, New Zealand. A Pacific island, actually two islands, located at the very bottom corner of the world. We have breathtaking sights of nature, with the Māori being the indigenous people filled with culture. However, here where I live in New Zealand, we face a grave problem. Obesity. After growing up here my whole life in New Zealand, it is common knowledge and fairly common to know that we have a bad obesity rate, with one in three New Zealanders being morbidly obese. But why is all this? We went out into the public to ask a few Kiwis themselves and to see what they thought. Where do you think New Zealand currently ranks in terms of obesity worldwide? Um, I don't think... Are we like 10? Nah, nah, I don't think 20. it's that bad. I, I think it's like top 100. It's pretty high. I think it's number two or number three. Uh, eight. Someone? Yeah, it's pretty high. Like, high, high, high. Hi, hi. Yeah. yeah, quite high in the Western countries. Tenth, because we're pretty bad. Yeah, we're actually ranked 31st most obese in the world, third in the OECD. Okay, pause. You may be thinking, what do these stats even mean? And what even is the OECD? So on Wikipedia, they essentially are classed as developed countries around the world. And the big problem is, we're ranked number three and it's only expected to get worse, with our global ranking placing us 31st, with a 33% obesity rate. To some, this was a surprise, but to others, this was just the norm. It's the beast in the world. Did you know that? Oh, no. No, no I wouldn't have guessed that. That's pretty bad. Pretty bad. Probably. Yeah. Really? Did that surprise you? Yeah, yeah, it surprised me. Do you know how many people in New Zealand are obese or overweight? Nah. I have to say probably like one out of ten. Is yeah. it about thirty percent? Mm. It's one in every three New Zealanders. Oh, that's, that's no. Quite bad, eh? Yeah, yeah. So, this begs the question: Why is all this? And overeating. A lot of food. Like, uh, the unhealthy food is cheap. Yeah, yeah unhealthy okay. food is cheaper. Yeah. yeah. And prices going up, and the only affordability and food-wise is is junk food. Prices of foods are uh, really high. So people prefer to eat uh, like junk food. Costs of living. It's because we eat badly, we we are obsessed with takeaways. This is very predominant here in New Zealand. The fact that fast food here is far more accessible and convenient to the average New Zealander compared to say healthy food and supposedly more affordable. But is it really though? We went to both McDonald's and Woolworths to mimic what common meals most people could get. With McDonald's, we went with the classic Big Mac combo with a burger, chips, and a drink. And to our surprise, came to a whopping $15.10. We then entered Woolworths to replicate this steak, potatoes, and salad meal. Starting with four large potatoes coming to a total of $1.75, a bag of spinach, $4, an onion, which weighs up to $0.30, cents, then a pack of cherry tomatoes for 6 bucks, and lastly, a five-pack of steak for 13 bucks. If we add this all up, we get a total of $25, which divided by 4 gives us $6 per healthy meal compared to the $15 per unhealthy meal. So if the price isn't the reason for people going for the unhealthy food, then what is the real reason? If you were to look at these two photos, what meal do you reckon is cheaper? So you have this one and this one. This one. This McDonald's, McDonald's, yeah. McDonald's is cheaper? Yeah. Oh, probably. Oh, it's probably that. <laughs> McDonald's? McDonald's? Yeah, I think it's McDonald's, yeah. yeah. If this healthier plate is cheaper than the McDonald's, then why do you think people are leaning more towards McDonald's and fast food takeaways? Uh, it's just easy. Go in, grab one, you're fed. Convenience. Convenience. Too lazy. Never been taught how to home cook, perhaps? Yeah. Because uh, it's already prepared. You don't have to buy, go to the grocery store to buy anything. Whereas for the first picture, you actually need to prepare, buy the potatoes, the steak, and it takes time, maybe at 30 minutes, an hour to cook. Mm. Just quicker to get the macronose instead. Yeah. Being a bit chefy orientated, mate, I'd say if you're prepared to put in the yards, mm. cook your meal, more nutritious, cheaper at yeah. home. Yeah, without exactly. a doubt. I think we have come to the conclusion, although there are many factors that play a role, the answer really lies within the name, fast food. From my discoveries, it's not necessarily a cost battle between healthy and junk food, rather a convenience battle, as many live such a busy life with sometimes both parents working jobs. As fast food being pushed everywhere, it seems to be the only answer that's not to neglect to say that cost of living is high or that food in general is expensive, but it also makes you wonder, is all this obesity evenly spread or is there a particular group worst affected by it? I think Maori. And uh, I think Pacific people. Any Polynesian ethnicity. 
Philippines, I think. The Maori and Pacific people. Yeah. Maori. Uh, I think that they are like genetically like this. Their genetic DNA or makeup is like that. And this isn't no exaggeration. As in New Zealand, 71% of Pacific Islanders are obese. 50% of Māori, the indigenous people, are obese, with only 31% of European and 18.5% of Asian adults being obese. And what does all this obesity lead to? Diabetes and all that, and it can lead to all sorts of things. Diabetes, there's so much heart disease. Diabetes. And who is worst affected by it? You guessed it, Māori and Pacifica people. With the Pacifica population having a diabetes rate of 125 per thousand and the Māori with 71 per thousand, compare that to the European and other population with only 32 per thousand. With all these obesity and diabetes stats, what do you think we can do to help battle against obesity in New Zealand? There needs to be more education around it. Mm. You know, children don't start out obese. Well, encourage exercise, encourage better eating. Encourage more like public uh, programs and fairs. Surrounding yourself by more positive people, ones that are wanting to help you with, um, you know, maybe fitness or, or your wellness or anything like that. So. Promote more exercise and fun activities for people to do more sports, I guess. I play basketball. What any sports do you want to? After reflecting, I think the most important factor is to encourage people to eat more healthier and to know that one, you can create healthier food that you enjoy. Two, you don't need top tier cooking skills or of any sort. And lastly, get more active and do more exercises and try new things. Who knows, you might surprise yourself with a hobby that you never knew you had a passion for. You can do it guys, just push yourself and do it. You know, make some friends too, you know that thing. Number Philippines one. number one! <laughs>